Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously, we've seen quite a few examples of the transformations that we can use in the uh, mappings of Power Center Informatica Designer. Today, we'll be taking a look at another example, the lookup transformation. And the example for it is that we need to populate the target table with the data from employees table and the corresponding department names and location IDs for each employee. So let's move over to the SQL assistant and create a new target table for this mapping. <clears throat> let's connect to the ODBC test one connection. And we'll use the username target. As well as the password target. Click connect. Uh, target, target as password. Okay. Now expand this, expand the target database and get the definition for the employees table as we'll be using it to create a new one. We'll create a new table called employees underscore lookup. Remove the unnecessary not nulls and everything. We won't be needing these. Okay, we need to add two new columns to this table. Uh, the first one would be department name. Var chart to 50. And location ID. Location ID is decimal 40. Okay, so location underscore ID. And uh, its data type is decimal four zero. Okay, now execute this. Yeah, now let's move over to the mapping designer to create a mapping for the lookup transformation. Username administrator, password oracle. Remember, remember that this is a really simple version of the lookup transformation that we're seeing today. So create a new mapping called m underscore employees underscore lookup. <coughs> so let's import the new target that we created. Import from database and connect using the username target, password target as well. And select the table employees underscore lookup. There you go. Now let's bring this to the mapping. Let's bring the source first, which is the employees table of the HR, uh, HR database. And the target employees underscore lookup. Okay, so we need a new lookup transformation in between. <clears throat> so this is a lookup transformation bring it here let's select source and either we can select any source target as a lookup uh, or we can bring in a new flat file or a target database ta target table so let's use this and select HR click connect and let's bring in the departments table from the HR database as a lookup table Okay, you can see that there are four columns of the department table. We'll be needing only two of these. So let's, we need to match the department ID with the employee's department ID. So let's bring this, drag this column over here. Double click on the lookup transformation. And in the rename it, name it as LKP underscore <coughs> employees. And in the condition, add a new one. Here you can see the department ID is equal to department ID. This is what we want. We'll be looking at uh, the properties and ports later on in coming videos. So this will be it for now. So click OK. And now let's populate the target table 
select all of these from the source qualifier and populate the target table with it and the department ID department name will be taking those from the lookup transformation department name and location ID yeah there you go this is a simple mapping that has been completed arrange all of this <coughs> and here you can see that the employees table is being matched with the departments table via lookup transformation and the target table has, is being populated so let's save our work and proceed towards the workflow manager for session and workflow creation create a new workflow named wf underscore employees underscore lookup create a new session for the mapping that we just created click ok link the start of the workflow to the session and let's edit the properties rename it first and move the m underscore for naming convention purposes and select the fail parent if task fails property in the properties tab select the right backward compatibility session logs and in the source target source database connection we'll give an hr and for the target connection value we'll give an target database okay then let's move on to the config objects and scroll down and set five as the number of session runs that we need to save the log for and one as stop on errors property in the mapping tab set the session the connection value variable as dollar source for the source table <coughs> and for the target table set the connection value as dollar target select the normal load type and the truncate table option and in the transformation we need to set up the connection value as well so over here we'll select the dollar source again as it is a source table that we're using as a lookup so do that and click apply okay save your work <coughs> validate it and save it and let's run the workflow now Okay, it's running. Double click on the session to get the session properties. Okay, there you go. 107 rows have been loaded to the target table. Now, if we see the target table's data, we'll be able to see that select steric from target.employees lookup execute this and there you have it the department name and the location id corresponding to each of the department ids and the employees has been populated in the target table so this was a simple uh, simple example of the lookup transformation that we used <coughs> and in the coming lectures we'll be looking at different variations of the lookup transformation for example connected unconnected active etc so do stay with us and till then take care of yourself and bye bye